Hello, today we're taking a look at something a little bit different than our usual spotlight door. In front of us we have the Crusher. This cool Steam Workshop item does exactly what it says on the tin. It crushes ships, rovers, whatever you pretty much want to put into it. It also comes with this cool little crane you can see on the side here with a claw that crashes itself through the design and allows you to lift it into the crusher itself. There is one mod on this. This is the high torque rotor modification. This just allows these rotors to spin and pressure against any block inside. So we've got a selection of things to crush here. We've got everything from the clang gestures to little cars to anime buses to a giant orb and even a fish over there. So we're going to start with uh, this little blue car that we've got here. We're going to drop it in and we're going to see what happens. So you can see the crusher doing its job and crushing that thing into pieces. And fun enough, all the little pieces come out there below. So let's have a look at some more of these small ships. In fact, we've got a little truck here, and I'm going to try to use the crane on it to, to move it into the crusher. The crane itself is a, a little a little wobbly, just to warn you ahead of time. Definitely forces of Klanga are, are working on it, but we can uh, extend the arm up and down. We can also extend the claw out like so if we want to. We've also got the lift-up function at the bottom, so... Oh! Oh, behave yourself, Claw. I don't know if the Claw's going to behave itself. Yeah, there we go. So Claw has managed to behave itself. And we're going to use the arrow keys to move the Claw handle down and over the little truck down there. So the, the Claw's got to behave itself. If it misbehaves again, then we might have some issues. So, oh, come on, Claw. Oh, no. I think we've broken the Claw right to start with. Maybe we need ind indestructible blocks on or something. So we'll try to, try to lift that Claw up one more time. We've only got three prongs left. And we'll lower that down. Try to press it into the design itself. Have we got it? Let's see. We can lift it up. Oh, we've not got a good grip on yet. We, we broke the claw pretty badly on that one. <laughs> so, so the claw needs a little bit of work. It is a little bit janky. But let's grab ourselves another one of these trucks. And throw it through the crusher. So here we go. So this one's a little bit bigger. It might be a little bit harder. And it's got wheels to resist it. Ooh. Ooh. That is certainly beautiful. Look at how it's crushing that up. Nothing's left of it. Let's have a quick look to see what's coming out underneath. So it crushes it into a very fine selection of blocks down here. And of course you can have a truck or another vehicle under here. Oh, there's still wheels popping out of them. Them wheels are bloody resistant. And we've got some more to do. So we've got another little truck now. This is a Scraplands truck we used on the Scraplands server. I think a player called Rushlow built the original truck. The trailer was annihilated straight away. Yeah, it really does tear through things, this crusher. It's quite it's quite relaxing this. You could spend a few hours just crushing different items from the workshop. So we've got the we've got the gesture, the gesture of clang in here. Now I'm a bit worried about this one because it does have some warhead somewhere in it. So let's see if the gesture of clang can get crushed. Oh, he's he's trying to resist. Oh no, he's he's, he's begging for help. <laughs> oh, there we go. He's been crushed into pieces. Awesome. So we've got the anime bus up next. Another real cool creation. This one. This one's got like little doors and cool things inside as well. We'll drop this one inside there. Oh, hang on. It looks like the gesture of Clang's actually done some damage. Whoa, that, that disintegrated quickly, didn't it? So it looked like there was some damage to the machine over here. Let's see if it's rotating around. Yes, yeah, so there is a little bit of damage inside there. And the blocks ain't able to weld it up. We'll, we'll keep going. We'll see if we can keep this thing running a little bit longer. So we have got a lovely pirate ship up next. So with this pirate ship, we will we'll drop it in like if it was uh, plopped into the ocean. We need to be careful. We don't want to break the sides too much. And there goes the pirate ship being eaten away block by block. Look at that. I think the front's going to make it a little bit resistant. Oh, it's actually, it's actually managing to ride out a bit of the damage. Oh, no, it's getting some crushing going on now. Both sides are going. The pirate ship is going down. I think it's taking the, the crusher with it, though, for the moment. Look at that. It's rocking side to side as the, the little claws grab each piece of it and tear the deck apart. This one's going to be creating a lot of debris as well, so let's have a look underneath. So, yep, there's parts of the pirate ship. Oh, there's part of Clang's arm inside it there. He did a lot of damage before he went down. 
So there's part of the, the top of the ship. Let's have a quick look inside here as well. So it is being reduced down slowly. It looks like it's the top bit of the deck. This front bit is resisting. It's kind of holding itself off. The mast is just kind of keeping it upright. So let's give it a hand. The crusher itself is still doing pretty well. So let's just drop it in like this and see if we can finish it off. Once this crusher gets a bit of a grab onto it. Oh, there we go. It is beginning to eat it away. Down goes the ship. It's just something relaxing about a machine that tears things apart like this. Down at the bottom, more pieces of scrap are piling up. Clang is still holding on inside there with his little arm. <laughs> oh, lovely. And the ship itself, halfway way destroyed. It looks like that top sail is starting to bounce off. So it was a bit of an awkward shape, this one. And I think that's why the crusher did struggle with it. It's still trying to pull it down as it rips it apart. Here we go. This, this might be it. Otherwise, this top part of the mast might just get perfectly stuck. Oh, no, it's not going to happen. There's bits of solar sail going everywhere as it gets pulled down. The front of the mast just ripped off. Oh, that's a little bit janky. It's getting pulled through there. Oh, yeah, there's not much of that ship left now. That was a big part of mast that managed to get through there. Let's go back up and have a look at what's left on the top. So they were the last few parts of the crusher. So the crusher itself has started to take some more severe damage. There is a few parts of ships that have been jammed through it, but it's not out of the action yet. Let's keep going until this thing breaks. So next up we have a KV. KV tank. This, this should be easy enough for it. This is just a small ship. So we'll plop that in there. Yeah, that KV is going to get ripped apart. It's bouncing around a little bit. Now the stellanium on that one won't protect it at all. So we've got a bulldozer, we've got a large truck, and a respawn ship as well. So let's have a look at this bulldozer. So what's cool about this bulldozer, it's actually got its own track mechanism that works around it. So let's put it in blade first. It might just get stuck on the side, or, or it'll get pulled in. So the front of the bulldozer blade is getting ripped off. The tracks are going to be a little bit resistant. Wheels are always difficult to pop or break. Well, it's getting pulled deeper and deeper into the, the crusher itself. There we go, the back of the bulldozer has been ripped apart. I wonder if the tracks have survived, though, intact. Oh, we're getting a bit of a mess down here. Yeah, so parts of the track there are surviving intact. There's a bit of a track that's been left stuck in one of the crusher's teeth there, being pulled around now. I think Clang's arm's still in there. Let's have a quick look, see if it's still... Oh, there's still parts of the bulldozer coming out. So I think Clang's arm is still up around in this section. The track is being pulled around, back around through for another bit of a braking session. There's the arm tucked in there, but it looks like the... the hinge. Oh, no, it's not. There's the hinge. He's still trapped in there. So we've got a truck that we could do. Or should we have, we'll have a go at the fish. We'll put the fish in and see what happens with this one. So this one's quite a bright colour. Lots of contrast. Should make for a nice little bit of crushing. So I'll drop in the fish in. It's got some fins that are going to need to be evened out. Yep, the fins are snapping off. The first few of the teeth are getting in. I think to make this work a little bit more effective, you probably need a projector of the actual crusher blades. As they move around, oh, look at the little fin wiggling back there. They won't be finding Nemo after this one, will they? As you can see, the tail's getting ripped apart. And coming down below, we should have some nice orange pieces coming out the bottom. Clang's arm still holding on there. Back up to the top. And there's the last bit of the fish consumed by the crusher. So, we have some interesting ones left. We've got the respawn and that little truck down there. But I thought this one would be fun to drop in. So, we've got one of these little uh, oinky type Star Wars robots. The, the name, I forgot the name for the minute. This is a Lego version. And it is a little bit big, so I'm not too sure if it'll fit. Plus, the crusher is starting to get a little damage. So, there's his little legs going in there. And they are getting shredded. These high torque rotors are deadly. So the top of the machine's gone in now. So this is a little bit big, so it could just scrape off. Or the crusher could pull it in a little bit further. It looks like it might just scrape off. It's not really grabbing anything here. It's not really getting a grip. Oh no, I'm going to get crushed myself here. <laughs> I'm not too careful. Yeah, it, it's still continuing to pull it in. It's just taking its time. Maybe if that other hinge gets bitten off, it might be able to do some damage. Oh, this is, this is the end of it. I can feel it already. We're going to see them blades tear through it. You can see they're ripping through this bottom part here. Yeah, it's just, it's just nibbling at it. This is why I think these machines are so cool. Especially in reality as well. They can rip pieces of metal apart and all sorts of things that you wouldn't think could be crushed. 
So yeah, it's little legs stuck there on the left of the crusher. And that's what's causing it to hold on. So moving back to our spectator cam, we might be able to see this a little bit better. How are these teeth cutting away with each slice? So as it's sliding down, it looks like the, the weight of the teeth are just scraping away very slightly. And once that leg becomes undone on the side of that crusher, this will go in. It's just inches away from its own destruction. So it's getting pushed. Just not enough. We could, we could probably help it by taking off this tip of this blade here, but I think that's a little bit cheating. So there you go. That big square now is kind of just hovering up on the top of it. It's not really going any further. So let's pop that one out. That one, that one deleted the crusher to a degree. We've got the ball over here now. You, you might have seen this one. This one's got the thousands of little drones in that we've been playing around with. So a ball on these things could provide could be a little bit difficult. Plus, I think it might be a little, just a little too big. But let's drop it down and see what happens. So the ball's dropping down. Yeah, it could be a little bit too big, this one, for it to work. The teeth are really not able to just get a grip. Let's see what's going on down here. Yeah, so the teeth might get a grip here, or it might just slide off. Yeah, I think it's going to slide off. A little bit too big, the ball. That's a shame. I was hoping that that would get some sort of grip within the crusher. And it was starting to shred out the bottom. But no, still part of fish in there as well. So let's pop that ball out. And we've got two more things to shred. So we've got the respawn ship from our latest server. I think this one will crush quite interestingly because it has got some stair parts on the side. That could be difficult. And it is a larger grid as well. So large grid getting crushed could, could be a challenge. Yeah. Them larger grids are a lot more difficult to crush by the look of it. Just shows you the sort of resistance that they've got. It's really it's kind of bouncing off the crusher. It's not been caught in it just yet. But that could be about to change. Also, this is quite a, cy a cylindrical type ship. So that could be adding to why it's not getting caught. But yeah, if you want some really nice successful crushes, I would go for the smaller blocks. Because at the moment, these larger blocks ain't crushing quite as well. They seem to be rolling off. So let's finish this off with one we'll know. That'll be quite satisfying. So this is one with a trailer. It's got a little armoured bunker. This was from one of our Mad Aaron seasons a long time ago. And if we just place that up there. And let this trailer go in. We'll see what happens when it gets caught. So it's starting to get caught from the sides there and just torn down. Wow, that's cool. The trailer's resisted pretty well though. You can see some ice has actually popped out of it. It's resisting that side, but once these teeth come around again, I, I think this side's a bit, little bit damaged, and that's why it's lasting a bit longer here as well. Let's have a look at all the rubbish that we've created. So there we go. We're going to need some sort of mop bucket, aren't we, down here, or some sort of machine to scoop this up? Too bad uh, we've <laughs> got rid of the bulldozer. The bulldozer might have been able to scrape this out. Actually, let's try that. Let's see if it can. So we'll get rid of this. We've got the big cat bulldozer over here. Let's just put that on the side. It, it could be too high to fit underneath. We'll soon see. To get this guy working, we need to pop both the sides here. And once we've done that, we can then move ourselves on the inside. We've got a little seat up here. And we can roll in. Look at them tracks. Very cool. It's nice to see a, a bulldozer. Of course, this one has drills on the front. Uh, we're going to need to adjust our track tension a little bit and our bulldozer ramp begin pushing so yeah it might be a bit too tall this one we'll have to reverse it up a little bit see if we can hit a bit of that stick there perfect we're going over some of the blocks as well so that's a little bit difficult and then full force over to the right let's see if we can do it yeah there we go perfect forward and let's see if we can clear out the mess that's underneath there. Scoop it out of the way the best we can. Oh, it looks like it might be a little bit too heavy for the bulldozer even. Are we getting any pushing coming out the other side? No. So yeah, we're, we're in a bit of a serious mess with this one. <laughs> it's going to be a lot of cleaning up. We've also got the, the tension on the track seems to be coming off a little bit. Yeah, we're getting no grip there at all. Let's have a quick look, see if we can reverse these tracks up perhaps. Come on, one more good push. Nah, it's too heavy, all that metal. 
Anyway, something a little bit different today. I saw this crush on the workshop and I had to put a few things through it. There'll be a link down to it in the workshop, well, in the description of the video, and it'll take you over to the workshop. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. What would you like to crush? Write it down in the comment section.